Hey, collectors and builders, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're gonna check out a couple of these 118 scale Joy Toy action figures. The Skeleton Forces Shadow Wing, and they are part of the Black and Gold Limited lineup, which means that there are only 2,000 units available out there. So let's take a look at what it comes with. Here's the Hunter, and here's the Enforcer. So here's one of my favorite things when it comes to unboxing a Joy Toy action figure which is the packaging and you can just flip it open to kind of get the first impression on what's on the inside. And now we're gonna get started with the Hunter and of course it comes with an instruction manual. This is part of the Battle of the Stars series, which is the 118 scale. And it shows you the accessories that comes with it, fully colored, both in English and Chinese. Again, this is the part where it shows you how to take out the different parts of the body, which I really appreciate. And the cover comes off pretty easy. So, looking pretty good. And now we're gonna move on to the Enforcer, which I don't think is gonna be any different. Of course, it comes with this instruction manual as well. And it says Joy Toy Battle of the Stars. Again, fully colored accessories, English and Chinese. And if you just turn around, it's the same thing, how to dissemble your action figures. I really like how it's so easy to take out the cover and first impression, they look really really good. And guys, I'm happy to add these two action figures to my current Joy Toy collection. I haven't been collecting much, just started last year. This is Bo Yang Feng and we've got Steiner as well. I've made review videos so make sure you check them out on my channel. Oh, well, this is the reason Rego. I actually haven't done or made a review video. I actually really like it and of course this is my first ever Joy Toy action figure. Here is the Hunter. We're gonna get started with this guy right here and it comes with an action figure a bag of accessories weapon number one and weapon number two now let's take a quick look at the weapons the assault rifles the submachine guns really loving the details I think that's gonna be the key word for this lineup the details are simply amazing and this is a yellow futuristic Tommy gun I guess. So we've got two rifles or heavy weapons and let's check out what comes in this little plastic bag. There's a bunch of stuff right here. Um, let's see, let's see. Here is the machete. I man, people, it's it's so good. Just look at the details. They are actually hand they are actually hand painted, right? And this is the army knife or combat knife, whatever you call them. So two guns, two knives, and I guess another this this is actually a little bit red in color I feel like most of these weapons we have actually seen them before they are nothing new and this is their handgun right their signature sci-fi looking handgun it comes with a couple of additional sets of hands the close grip and this is the weapon holding hands so right now we are gonna check out the articulation 
uh, first do you guys notice anything different about these figures loving the new painting app there's a little bit of gradient going on again the details people just check out all these details very what's the word intricate i guess and they've got these decals on the armors i believe this is the logo of the skeleton forces shadow wing and guys i really like it looks good it feels good feels different and as usual you can rotate the head back and forth can you actually not up and down a little bit for the hand you can rotate all the way 360 you can lift it up as well and look at the details man i cannot stress this enough okay what else you can rotate the elbow as well you can bend it in man this little armor thing on the forearm is a little bit annoying but for the hand as usual hinge joint you can twist it up and down back and forth for the body it is a little bit limited by the vest and I feel like the belt is it's actually restricting the movement a little bit or maybe it's a little bit too high I, I am not too sure I think we gotta move it down later so articulation it's been really good i have seen improvements throughout the past few months and i really like the direction that they are going um double joints on the knees as for the feet as usual up and down there's actually this little thing on the toe that that you can fix as well so people i i really like it we're gonna take out the armors later but what i like to do is to have it ready for some poses and now let's move on to the enforcer so this guy comes in white and grayish the details they are just amazing guys and to be honest i kind of like the new gradient or painting app that they did to these couple of figures and here is the logo and what else again they have the same i don't know what you call these the decals or patterns for the guns this is again nothing like um, nothing new we have seen this before and if you have been collecting joy toy you would have seen all these weapons and accessories right the hands same thing two extra sets now in terms of articulation they're actually more or less the same um, you can actually see the neck for this one and we're gonna do all around rotation you can do a t pose on this I think for the elbow, um, it can be a little bit hard to pose because there's like this elbow guard right here. And when you move this shoulder pad and whatnot, it can actually block it. But other than that, it's all good, it's great. Um, we're gonna make some poses, get ready to put the weapons. Out of these two so far i think i like the hunter better the color green and yellow or orange it looks good so we're gonna check out the legs right now again they are more or less the same you can swing backward forward you can open up man dude people look at all these things they're amazing they are pretty good Again, same thing, double joint. Man, 
this uh, glossy look okay something just pops off does it happen to you guys because it happens to me like one or two other figures I don't know whether you are supposed to take it out or what but it comes off quite easily um yeah back to back to the painting app it, it looks good guys the gradient is a nice touch to it and now we're gonna compare these two with some of the previous models the hunter and the enforcer you guys can just look at the details man that's that's gonna be the key word of this video the painting and the details so here is my first joy toy which I actually didn't have a good experience but just look at it one is matte the other one is glossy here is the Steiner as well they've got a little bit of like um, matte or specs in their weathering which is very different and unfortunately these two they don't come with any human head sculpt but we can actually do a simple head swap guys check it out this is the boyang feng what do you guys think i think it looks pretty good right and what we're gonna do is to get oh man this forearm armor thing is gonna get on my nerves okay check this out looking pretty cool right so oops so if you do not have any joy toy action figures make sure you get them and we're gonna do a head swap to these guys as well this one doesn't come with a head or human head but you can swap it out and yeah even though these two action figures are limited edition but they are actually quite affordable and I think you can get it for about 35 US dollars each and of course, I'm gonna do a close-up on these helmets. They look absolutely fantastic. I think the green one looks better still. Uh -huh. But they are both great actually. They are great. Now, here's one of my least favorite things to do. Is to actually take out the armors. But for you guys, YouTube, I'm gonna do it. So let's check out um, what we can do. Because one of the things that Joy Toy is known for is that you can remove their armors. Man, this is kind of tight. I should have heated up these guys, but it's okay. So you can take out the shoulder or the forearm. Comes with this little pocket thing. And for the vest, over here you can actually just take it out, right? There's a pack right here. Usually I hate doing the vest thing. Oh, okay. This is actually pretty easy. Usually I hate doing them because it can be really hard. But for this one right here, it seems pretty easy. You can just take it out like that. And what do you guys think? looks cool are you gonna get one or two so what else the belt i think we can take this out later there's a loop over here uh, or whatever so for the body it actually comes with this color inner shirt so i think that looks cool and now we are gonna figure out how to take it and here's the hack for lazy people you just pull apart the body and i think the belt looks kind of similar to all the other joy toy figures i am not gonna mess with the leg armors because it, it can be quite hard to take out 
but I know that for the thigh area you can actually remove them and here is the enforcer it is actually a little bit different when it comes to the armor so let's start with the hand and for this one you actually cannot remove the forearm armor it's one piece right here but we can actually take it out okay again this elbow thing it's you just need to be careful whether to put it under the shoulder pad or over the shoulder pad well I call it the shoulder pad right so just take it out and yep this is it as for the vest same thing it's quite easy to remove which I really appreciate I'm not too sure whether it's easy to put it back on but we'll find it out eventually as for the inner shirt um, it looks a little bit different they are more pockets and texture and of course without the armor you can move it much better as for the belt same mechanics or design you can actually just pull out this belt right here okay there you go so I'm loving all the gear and accessories the designs they look good okay does it work all right I think that's about it again not gonna mess with the legs apart from the thigh armor I think everything else is the same all right over here we've got a bunch of weapons and I'm gonna show you all how it looks like with the weapons and what you can do with it first thing first we gotta put this handgun to the side of the leg which is a snap-on poster sometimes it can be a little bit hard but it's all right guys this is the thing here is this knife i kind of wish that you can slot it to the belt right so we actually saw this in steiner which i'm gonna show you guys like on the side you can actually slot the knife which is very convenient but i kind of wish that this guy it comes with it because you have so much stuff on your belt but it's okay here's the first gun that we're gonna try on I usually struggle with guns like this especially the one that comes with what do you call this the back of the gun the butt right I think because I don't know is it just me what do you guys think please tell me in the comments so I don't really like this type of guns so here's the other gun which I find it much easier it's a different design as long as you can hold the grip and you can pose them and take nice pictures add it to your collection so this is definitely much better and you can just mess around with the hands the poses highly articulated highly recommended and here's the last heavy weapon I guess this is the easiest people just check this out love it so what's happening with hunter we're gonna find out right now again the forearm or armor can be a little bit annoying this is the tommy gun it shouldn't be too hard but again i always always guys struggle with putting the guns to the hands i think i think it works which one do you guys prefer the hunter or the enforcer look at this pew pew looking good okay i think it should work so this is the first gun 
and so far I really like what I see all right the second gun is actually much easier you can hold where the top no at the bottom there's another grip right here which you can hold at the time it's time for some action view 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 so yeah they look good people looking very good and this is the handgun actually a different color they're actually all the same but just they come with different colors and you can do this kind of pose my man will always be right-handed and of course you gotta just snap it on which I'm pretty sure I'm gonna struggle and you've got a knife as well but this one I kind of wish that you can slot it like somewhere you know it's a missed opportunity joy toy so we can just hold it like this and guys I would really appreciate it if you can just you know click some buttons for me like subscribe we are getting very very close to 950 subscribers there's the machete and this is another gun I think it's the same one as Bo Young Film, which I struggle but uh, I think it's alright alright guys I think that's all for today um, thank you for watching if you like it you know what to do and I'll see you the next time